you read the title, you're only here for one thing. I made the number one deck in Commander. And if you think it's a bait, kind of. But please, make sure to watch, because it's not quite a bait. I think it's a really fun deck to play. But before we get into it, can you guys please make sure to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It gives me the motivation to make more decks. And also, we're so close to 200 subscribers. I'd really like to get there. And then maybe to 1,000, maybe to 10,000, maybe even more. It'd be great. The more uh, subscribers that I get, the more likes I get, the more likely I am to edit the decks, make more decks. It just means a lot to me. So... If you guys could like and subscribe, that'd be great. And let's move on to the number one deck in Commander. What does that mean? We're talking Gears and Star, baby. Keller Morph. I hate this thing in Warhammer. It, it scares me. My friend has never actually played the model against me, but it scares me. It's a 3-2 for 3 with Ward 2. But the uh, 3 auto subs is whenever another source you control deals 1 damage to a permanent or player. This thing deals 2 damage to that permanent or player. So, did I bait you? No. <laughs> it's just, people don't say it right. It's not the number one deck in Magic. This is the number one deck in Magic. So, we're talking about the number one. So, everything in this either deals one damage or draws the cards or whatever. This is a very controlly kind of deck, including like Young Pyromancer, Third Path Iconoclast, is whenever you cast spells and stuff you make one ones which is great like thermo alchemist deals one damage to stuff which is cool Te uh, tetsuko umazawa deals one damage creatures control power or toughness one or less can't be blocked which is it it's unblockable whoa <laughs> sorry i have a lot of energy today for some ungodly reason but i almost put in the talisman of whatever in it. i almost put a talisman in this and then i realized uh, it deals the damage to you. Meaning you'll deal three damage to you. You don't want to deal three damage to yourself literally just for wanting mana. But yeah, every single card in this either deals damage, uh, gets you back instance of sorceries, or does a lot of little hoopla. Like Spark Jolt, for instance, immediately turns into a lightning bolt, but allows you to scry one because it deals one damage to target creature or player and scry one, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, Grafted Exoskeleton, also MVP of the deck, because I feel like I need to start doing that more. Uh, Quick Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has Infect. So, Gears and Starn, you throw this on there. Just start pinging your opponents for one, and then Gears and Starn will ping them for two, Infect. Because deals uh, damage to a creature in the form of minus one, minus one counters, and to players in the form of poison counters. Meaning you only have to do that, will ping opponents five times. Which is not that hard in this deck. Because, I mean, literally, Thermo Alchemist uh, deals one damage to each player, well, to each opponent. Meaning, you ping them for one, Gears and Starn pings them for two, but then they get two poison counters. Which is really, really good. Also, Intruder Alarm, uh, creatures don't untap during their controller's untap step. And whenever a creature comes into play, untap all creatures. Because you have a lot of stuff that deals one damage to stuff, like Goblin Sharpshooter. Which is one of the funny, I think one of the funniest cards in Magic. <laughs> this whole elaborate thing, literally just a bonk. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, also, Merktide Regent, you want a real quick way to just finish out the game. It's Merktide Regent. If you, if you don't know modern, legacy, whatever, Delver stuff, uh, Blue Red Delver is really, really good. I think Merktide Regent is just like a... Whatever. It also pairs really well with Underworld Breach. Because each non-land permanent in your graveyard has escape. The escape cost is equal to its card's mana cost. Exile. Plus exile three other cards from your graveyard. Beginning of the end step, sacrifice this. So, a lot of your instance of sorceries cost not a lot of mana. You got that's the Blazing Volley. And the festivities. Expressive Iteration. Faceless Looting. Forked Bolt. Which is a lot of cards that like not a lot of people play. Except for Expressive Iteration. Which is, yeah. And Faceless Looting. But you got like your consider, you got your opt, you got your pongify, you got your rapid hybridization, spark jolt, reality shift. So you play underworld breach, whatever you have, all oh, nine mana open or something like that, if you can make it that far, and then you just start doing a whole lot of a lot of shit. Ooh, my wrist crack will pop. That's insane. Uh, but yeah, lands. You only really need 29 of them. 
because you're sitting at a 2.41 mana curve, which is really, really good. But look at this perfect balance. F uh, 45 red pips, 45 blue, pl blue pips, uh, blue producers 21, red producers 21. Wow, look at that it's spicy meatball. It's perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Uh, Chiron Negotiations also allows you to do the whole a tap, deal, this deals one damage to target player. You could just keep tapping all your stuff, which pairs really well with the Young Pyromancer and a, where is it, a Third Path Iconoclast. Basically, you have how, how many different win conditions? It's a The whole win condition is deal one damage every single time. It may make, take you a little while, but you're going to be you're just going to be casting a lot of spells. You're going to be doing a lot of a lot of stuff. It's it's a control deck, but it's an aggro deck, but it's a burn deck. It's a lot of decks all in one, which makes it the number one deck in Magic because it's all about the number one. But yeah, Goblin Chain Roller also deals one damage to each opponent and each creature in Planeswalker they control, meaning it deals three for three mana. It gives you a three three first strike. That, that's really good. Also, a lot of your stuff, like End the Festivities, which deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and Planeswalker they control, a lot of this stuff is just a board wipe at that point. You deal one damage to stuff, dealing three damage, that's a lot of damage. Like, a lot, a lot of damage. So, the whole deck is just cantrip, into cantrip, into cantrip, into draw cards, into uh, deal one damage. It's the number one deck in Magic. And if you bring it to a table, people are probably going to go, No, no, don't play the number one deck of magic. They're going to go, Ha, but it's using Gears and Star and Keller Morph. And they're going to go, Huh? That's not the number one deck of magic. And you're going to be like, Yeah, it is. And they're going to be like, They're going to be like, But it, but number one deck of magic is like elves or slivers or some janky combo deck. And you're just like, No, wrong. Number one. I deal the number one. So I'm the number one. But whole deck i really really like this i think it was really fun to build i think it was fun to find the little quirky little stuff in there you're running two niv mizzets you're running two niv mizzets two what's better than one two because this is the number one deck in magic but only at 502 dollars and 66 cents uh well excluding basic lance is a little under 500 dollars this this is really good, especially considering a lot of decks that I build are really high in price. But yeah, 2.41 ma uh, average mana curve. Like that, that's that's really good. That's really fun. I'm not gonna show you all the like little janky stuff in here because there's a lot of it. It's a lot of jank. It's a lot of weird. You got Caltrops whenever creature attacks deals one damage to it. It's yeah. It's it's a control deck. It's a burn deck. It's it's a one deck. It is the number one deck in Magic. So, if you guys liked the video, if you think it is the number one deck in Magic, please make sure to like and subscribe. It, it means a lot to me. I'm on the road to 200 subscribers. That would be great if you could like and subscribe. It also gives me the motivation to make more decks like this, like the number one deck in Magic. Maybe I'll make the number two deck in Magic. I already have an idea for that. It's bears, because all bears are two twos. I can make bears. I want to make bears now. What? Uh, but yeah, if you guys could do that, that'd be great. And I'll see you all in the next deck tech.